Growing up in the shadow of a famous parent may be a daunting challenge, and Scott Eastwood knows it firsthand. Although he's the son of Clint Eastwood, one of Hollywood's biggest male stars, Scott never received any support from his distinguished father. Father declined, stated his birth certificate, meaning that Clint's romance with Scott's mother remained secret for years. Despite the fact that Clint remained focused on his career more rather than being a father, Scott never held it against him. My dad's like one of my biggest heroes, you know? Yeah, he, of course. He's the reason I'm, I'm in this business, he's, I, you know. Stay tuned while we deep dive into their unique father-son relationship and the most important lesson Clint ever taught his son. Everything must be earned. Why didn't Clint help raise his baby boy? Why didn't he keep in touch with Scott for so long? We know for sure that when Eastwood started his secret affair with Scott's mother, he also had a prolonged romance with Sandra Locke. At that time, she was an established Hollywood actress and a promising director. Sandra also worked with Clint on the film set in multiple projects. As their love went sore, the actress claimed its devastating consequences. An affair with Clint ruined her professional and personal life. What's more, Sandra filed two lawsuits against Eastwood. In the first one, she demanded palimony after their separation. In the second, she sued Clint for fraud. These attempts to restore justice were in vain, and a distinguished actress disappeared from the scene. Toxic relationships with Eastwood burned her professional life to the ground. Perhaps that's why Clint neglected his parenting responsibilities for so long? An unwanted affair with Scott's mother, Jacelyn Reeves, was doomed to remain secret while Eastwood faced serious allegations. Something, yeah. Some, really. some sort of a weird connection with a weird Woman. female yes. admirer? Yeah. Living up to the consequences of secret romance could badly hurt his reputation. Years went by and the impact of the 80s scandal faded away. At that time, Scott tried his luck in the US and lived in California during high school. He didn't go by his father's name and preferred to be addressed as Scott Reeves. My dad never gave me a cent. He made me work for everything, he said in the interview with Men's Health. And although childhood wasn't all sunshine and roses for Scott, he didn't take advantage of dad's fame or influence to get what he wanted. But we'd like to ask, was it possible for an illegitimate son to find support from his influential father? Given the scandalous affairs of Eastwood, it seems that maintaining relationships with the son could hurt the reputation of the legendary actor. Relationships between the father and the son grew closer when Scott moved to the US, but that was a bumpy road. In the recent interview, Scott shared that Clint once punched him in the face during a conflict. What had happened that the acclaimed actor got physically aggressive with his son? He'll take you down with a look. He will take you right down. When he was 16, Scott went to a party with his younger sister, who was also Clint's daughter. In the interview with GQ, Scott recalled, I had taken my younger sister, who was like 14, to this party. I left, maybe to go get beer with the guys. And I left her, and I didn't think about it at the time. Later, Dad found out that I left her there. After finding the truth about that story, Clint was boiling with anger. He slammed his 16-year-old son against a wall and punched him in the face. Scott should never leave his sister alone. Scott didn't hold a grudge against Clint. He shared the details of the conflict. He popped me and said, you don't ever leave your sister at a party, ever. And it was very old school, very old school of him. Clint's parenting style was one of the ways children learned the difference between acceptable and forbidden behavior and explored a thin line between them. Scott described it as, if you did something wrong, you were going to get punished. I learned quickly, you don't do that. Scott also holds lots of great memories from the time spent with his father. He links the earliest memories that set the tone for his relationships with his father to visiting the Space Cowboy set and riding in a helicopter with Clint. As a younger kid, there was kind of an aura of greatness. Like, he's my hero. Now, I think every opportunity is an opportunity to hear another good story. Scott said in the conversation with GQ Australia. As they grew closer, Clint introduced Scott into his famous life sharing unique stories of the past and paying more attention to what was going on in his son's life. In the interview with Esquire, the award-winning actor said, He was a pretty good kid, not much of a problem. His mother gave him a lot of values because she's a good person. But we remember the relationships between the father and the son were supposed to stand the test of time before these words were said. And it's been a long journey to the point when he could reconcile old traumas and claim his gratitude towards a career-oriented parent. The father's recognition cost Scott years of toil, perseverance, and courage. 
He wasn't going to rely on his father's money and made sure to work hard to make his own cash. He wanted to be independent and didn't want to have to rely on his father's finances. He recently described all of the character building experiences. I may never be the best actor in the world, but I'll be the hardest working. Given the hardships of Scott's childhood, we have no doubt that he proved himself a devoted and compassionate professional and a great son. Owing to his recent appearances in Suicide Squad and Wrath of Man, Scott has now firmly established himself in Hollywood. And it happened primarily owing to his perseverance, not because of father's protection. Clint wasn't going to help his son get into the business just because they were related. In fact, Scott was auditioned to play even minor roles in projects shot by his father. He does not, uh, I, don't think, I don't think he likes me in his movies. You know, because here's the thing, he's, he's put me in a few movies and I've auditioned for a lot and haven't got a lot. At the early onset of his career, he was paid the Screen Actors Guild minimum. Maybe that struggle to earn his place in the sun made Scott so hardworking and resilient? As an aspiring actor who recently became a celebrity, Scott described his career philosophy. You're a passenger in a vehicle and you're replaceable, interchangeable. There's a million guys who could do what I do and probably millions who could do it better than me. I'm lucky. We're sure that Scott made a hit not only because of his striking resemblance with his father, but also owing to his talent and perseverance. But Scott's life was also rife with traumatic tragedies that went beyond his childhood. Similarly to his father, Scott is known for his love life and reportedly had affairs with Nina Dobrev and Jenna Kramer. He prefers keeping romances private and focuses primarily on his career. However, Scott once shared a tragic story of his beloved partner's death. In the 2010s, he dated a girl who died in a car accident. This event left Scott heartbroken ever since. I've lost friends before. I've lost some great friends. But I had never lost someone I had been really intimate with. You know, like in that way, in a relationship. I think that really affected me in a way that, I don't know, maybe it's harder for me to date. It seems that the accident made the actor more career oriented. Scott once said, I'm trying to get out of the pretty boy thing. I want to do what Brad Pitt did. Get a little down and dirty. Hollywood loves to put you in a box. You're the good looking military guy. And we hope that the tragic death of a beloved one wouldn't hurt Scott any longer. Scott's story isn't about overnight success. It wasn't easy for him to build a rapport with an unfamiliar father and distant father who was absent throughout his whole childhood. Instead, it was a prolonged struggle with Clint's cold-hearted discipline. Way to go, old man. Shut up, pussy. What is all this bro shit, anyway? Want to be super spade or something? These guys don't want to be your bro, and I don't blame them. Now get your old fave patty ass on down the road. Knocking on Hollywood's door and receiving an answer can be a blessing for an aspiring actor, but Scott worked hard to gain that recognition and received little support from his father. Besides, the tragic love story made Scott more aware of the pain and intimate loss that made a deep mark on his romantic relationships. Today, Scott strives to reimagine himself in new career endeavors and find a path of his own, casting off the shadow of a distinguished father. Will that be possible, given their resemblance and tighter relationships? After all, Scott remains grateful to his hero father and his discipline-oriented style of parenting. My father's definitely old school, and he raised me with integrity, to be placed on time, show up, and work hard. Do you have any tattoos? No, no, my dad was sort of old school, and I, I remember my sister coming home one time with a tattoo, and him saying, well, why the hell did you do that? Of course, punching somebody in the face may be perceived as a cruel and harsh way to teach them a lesson, it's definitely a controversial attitude towards bringing somebody up. But despite everything that happened between Scott and Clint, both are willing to cherish their emotional bond and keep in touch. It wasn't an easy ride for Scott to find himself in the industry, especially to deserve his father's respect and recognition. But he managed to live up to high expectations of Clint, making it possible for them to find rapport and see each other in a new light. For Scott, it's been time for finding a father he rarely saw in childhood. As Scott recently said about his dad, I couldn't be more proud of him. I couldn't be more inspired by the films he makes. We hope that one day Scott will hear his father saying something similar. But before that happens, he should prove himself to the influential dad every day.